I don't think so. You walked out on Danny? Huh? Everything is fine, okay? How can it be fine, Michelle? <sighs> because Danny and I agreed that it was for the best. We even kissed when I was saying goodbye. Okay, do me a favor. Tell me... Tell me what's so great about you two splitting up. I don't, I don't understand. We're not splitting up, Tony. We're just giving each other some space. It's, it's actually perfect timing while Danny needs to raise money by selling the house. What? Sell the house? Danny said he, you, know, you, you guys would live there the rest of your lives. It's your dream house, Michelle. Why would he sell it? Dreams die, and you find new ones. What a terrific space. Tear out that wall, it'd really be something. <laughs> This is the uh, living room. Hey. Everything going okay? Um, Danny, yeah. it might be a little easier if you weren't here when we showed the place. I know how difficult it was for the people who sold Ross and I their house. Well, no, no, it's fine. I want to be here, you know, in case you have any questions or anything. That... Put that down! You really love this project, don't you? I'm going to turn Springfield into the city that it should be. How could I not love that? There's so many possibilities. Once we get company leveled, we can really get moving. So Buzz has to give up his dream for you to realize yours, is that it? It's called progress. You taught me that, or don't you remember? Buzz has run that restaurant for many years, though, Philip. Out with the old, in with the new. You taught me that, too. I also taught you not to take unnecessary risks. And I think until this project is underway, we should keep this model covered. I don't want any stock holders seeing it. Might start a fight. Hi. Hey. It's a good thing I brought my gloves. Hey, Lizzie. What's going on? I got your message. What's so important? <laughs> wow, the coffee smells wonderful. Especially after the brandy last night. You could have borrowed a pair of my trousers as well. Oh, Edmund, I'm sorry. I, uh... Gosh, you've been so good to me. Letting me stay here and all. I, I just assumed it was okay to wear one of your shirts. Oh, yes, yes. Of course it is. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, and I, uh... I had valet service take care of these. You can, uh, well, you can have them. Thank you. And I don't think I did you any great kindness. You didn't have much of a choice but to stay here. What with Jeffrey O'Neill threatening your life? Yeah, you certainly scared me, that's for sure. How did you sleep last night, okay? No. Very badly, as a matter of fact. Well, that's because you weren't with Cassie. I understand. Not obvious, eh? Well, to a woman, yes. You know, I realized last night that she is very lucky to have somebody like you. I don't know if she'd agree with that, the way I acted yesterday. Well, whatever you did, I'm sure you did it out of love. I can see that's uh, the kind of person you are. I do love Cassie very much. Well, I certainly hope she appreciates it. Sometimes you don't know what you have until it's gone. I was afraid you'd still be mad at me. Look, I don't, I don't know what happened, okay? I'm sorry about last night. Just Things got out of hand, and I, I just want to get past this. Look, nothing is more important than what we have together, Edmund. Oh, my neck. Coffee. I need coffee and a massage after a night like that. I can only help oh. you with coffee, okay? Oh, well, then I'll just... Help myself. Are you there? 
It just rang. Cassie? Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Look, I am so sorry about last night. Oh, God, no. I, I, I'm the one who should be sorry, Cassie. No, no, don't apologize, okay? I just... Can you just tell me you love me, please? I do love you. I do love nothing in the world so well as you. Um... Are you still at Reva's? Actually, I'm at the farm. What? Jeffrey O'Neill said that wasn't safe with the imposter so large. What do you... Yeah, but you know what? I, I, I talked to Jeffrey earlier this morning, and there's news. Well, what? Tell me. They got her. They got the imposter. She, she is in custody right now, and she's on her way to Washington, D.C. to be sent back to Europe. They arrested her? Cassie, that's wonderful news. What, what, do we have a name to go along with the lunatic? No names. Not, not yet. No, we don't have any names. Okay, where in Washington are they holding her? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know, but um, Jeffrey said that he would meet me here this morning so he could explain all the details. When? He should be here any, any minute. But I, I would like you to be here, too. Can, can you come? Right. On my way. So they caught the uh, forces of darkness, huh? Yes, they did, and it's terrific news. I guess so. Wait, Dee, don't you understand? With this woman in custody, Jeffrey will have no reason to stay in Springfield or hover around Cassie, which means he's out of her life and he's back in yours, if that's what you want. Well, that's a big if. What are you staring at? <laughs> you didn't tell any boy the whole truth. I told him the parts that count, all oh, right? Oh, did you now? <laughs> oh, ah! I forgot what a night in the surveillance van could do to a neck. It was a quiet night in the van, which means oh. the imposters' accomplices are far away from here. That's Thank not you. necessarily true, Cassie. Just because the accomplices didn't show up last night doesn't mean that there aren't any accomplices. This is going to take some time, you know. No, no, I want my life back, okay, Jeffrey? I want this to be over. Well, I want it to be over, too, but we have to be 100% sure that the danger has passed. What danger? It's just that my um, friend Katie in New York wanted me to come up for the weekend, and I wanted you to come with me. To New York? Yeah, I mean, we can have a blast. When was the last time you even went? Uh, let me think. Never? <laughs> well, you have to go then. Come on, Joey, it's New York. We can do anything. Like, uh, like meet, meet nightclub owners and, and booking agents and record execs, too. Record execs, are you serious? It just so happens my friend Katie's family is really big in the music industry, and I think this could help your career. Maybe you could call it a business trip. Business, huh? Yeah, but with a little fun, too. You'll keep bugging me till I say yes, won't you? Nonstop. <laughs> then I'd have to say yes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> but... But I, I first have to finish my work today, and I have to get paid plus, because you have to square it all with my mom. But Joey, the flight leaves in, like, a couple hours. Okay, well, then I'll just have to take a later flight and meet you there. If not, the trip's out. Okay, I guess I can arrange something for you to pick up the tickets at the airport. Oh, <laughs> see you in the Big Apple. <sighs> my mind, Philip, what's going on? Nothing. Alan and I were just discussing a special meeting that I'm holding for some select Spalding shareholders to discuss our corporate strategy before we actually put it into place. Mm. I think that's a good idea. Well, you know, as major shareholders, Bill and I will be very interested to hear how it'll impact us. No, I said select shareholders. That would leave you and Bill out. Mm. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to bark at you like that. I, it, um, it, it's just a... Some of these things are really important to me and valuable, and when you picked it up, I, I, I thought maybe you were going to drop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We understand. We do. That's what makes this house uh, so special. Everything is put in place just so with love and cherished, and please feel free to, right. to look around. It's just, it's weird for me, you know, having strangers 
poking around in the house that I bought for my wife and me and um, peeking into our closets, <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the sofa that we used to curl up on. No, 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 please, please, sit, please, please. <clears throat> it's, I was just... it's a lovely house, but it's, it's really not for us. <laughs> oh, well... I'll tell you, I haven't seen the kitchen yet. It's fantastic. And the backyard is you know, wonderful. We wouldn't want to leave footprints in the grass. Come on, honey. So much for that <clears throat> short thing. Yeah, sorry. Hey, you know, don't apologize to me. You're the one who said he was desperate to move this house. I am, I am. I needed it sold yesterday. Well, do me a favor. Next time I show the house, lock yourself in the garage until I tell you it's okay to come out, all right? Say your house? Look, it's his house, okay? And this, this is mine now, right? And that's why I figured I'd stay here while he unloads the Taj Masantos. Okay, and when that happens, what? Then he's gonna find his own place, things will calm down, and we'll see where we stand. I don't know, Michelle, it sounds kinda vague to me. Sorry. I wanna keep my options open, okay? Yeah, that's exactly what scares me. I don't even, I'm just being honest. I mean, Danny and I shouldn't kid each other. The wife, the one he shared all the memories with, she's not coming back anytime soon. Maybe not, no. No. So, it's best for Danny and I to just start completely from scratch. And by the way, our uh, permit got denied thanks to Danny and Ross. Really? Mm-hmm. Apparently, Danny didn't like the idea of you and I working together, so we called upon the mayor, a.k.a. my father's best friend, and they decided what's best for me. No, well, that's okay. I'll take care of it. How? I will tell you when I'm sure. All right? I will take care of it. I'll see you later. You just got here. <clears throat> yeah, it's Tony. That accountant came in, so I need you to close it now. I need the cash. This is good. This is good, because Jeffrey O'Neill will have no choice but to leave town or admit he was staying here for Cassie. Well, good. I'm glad that some people's lives are working out. Don't give up. And, uh, I have to shower, get dressed, and get back to the farm. Excuse me. Edmund? Hmm. Are you happy there? Well, as far as I'm concerned, wherever Cassie is, is home. The place was pretty dead the first time I saw it. Haunted by memories, I guess, but... I think Cassie and I have effectively erased those. What kind of memories? The man Cassie loved died there. It's the kind of loss you live with forever, I think. I'm sure. Yeah, well, um... Excuse me. Let me get ready. What is going on, Mom? Tammy, you realize that someone has been impersonating your mother, using her credit cards and basically just stealing her identity, don't you? In Europe, right? And she was here, too. Here, like, here, here, in this house? A few days ago, someone broke into the house, and they wanted me to make sure I knew they were here. Oh, my God. And it was her. Well, well who is she, some kind of crazy it's person? Okay. It's okay, Tammy. We caught her last night. That's right, and she's on her way to D.C. right now. And she's going to be sent back to Europe. So if you already caught her, then then why did you say there's still danger? I mean, what are you doing? Well, here? I just, you know, I wanted to make sure that you and your mother were completely safe. That's all. There may be some accomplices out there. Well, where's Edmund? Hey, everybody. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything is, is fine. And, you know, whenever you want to get started in the barn this morning, that's oh, fine, uh, too. Well, when I'm done in the barn, is it okay if I take a few days off? It's for my music. Yeah, yeah, sure, you know. Well, I miss you, right? All of us. Oh, right. You, know, you missed all the excitement. That wacko who's been impersonating my mom, they caught her. Here. It turns out she'd snuck into the house a few times. Wait. Was one of them a few days ago? Why do you ask? I think I met her. Do I have to remind you that Bill and I together own a sizable piece of Spalding stock? No, I'm well aware of it. 
Well, I'm sure I don't have to tell you that to exclude major shareholders from a shareholder meeting will only cause a rift in a company that really needs to pull together at this time. Oh, now that's a good point, Phil. Olivia, you and Bill have started your own company now. What's the name of it? Slipshod? <laughs> Slingshot. You Slingshot, it. that's it. There you go. Good memory. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's natural that, that you want to make your own mark and pursue your own interests. But let's just say for a second, let's say you were to come to this meeting mm -hmm. and there were things about my strategy that in some way mirrored something that you and Bill wanted to do in, in your new slingshot company. Yeah. Well, see, that would be a conflict of interest for you then to go mm -hmm. ahead and do that after a confidential spalling briefing, not to mention illegal. So you see, I'm, I'm just trying to spare you a potential headache. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Hello, Art. How's my girl? Mm, good. How are you? Good. What? Okay. I'm going to New York, and I was wondering if I could borrow your platinum card, maybe? Are you going to visit New York or buy New York? Well, I mean, you never know, just in case, right? Okay. Please. Yes. You can take it. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to have fun. Thank you. Okay. Bye. You are spoiling that child rotten. <laughs> mm, no, I'm just teaching her about entitlement, that's all. And that's something she knows far too much about, trust me. I'm going to go get Emma. And take her where? To the garden, if that's on the approve list. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll have Lydia come out with you. My daughter needs me, Philip. And no matter how many worlds you try to conquer or how entitled you feel to dictate other people's lives, there's something more powerful out there than you, and that's biology. She and I have a connection, and it's a closeness you cannot, will not fight. Why would I want to? It's going to turn out to be so useful in the end. <sighs> oh, independence. It's an awesome thing. No one to answer to. No one to check in with. No one to tell you how to live your life. Don't worry, I will not be here the next time you want to show it. Nah, too late. Why? A potential buyer just called. He's on his way over with cash. Cash? Are you serious? <laughs> cash is always serious. Okay, I, mean, I hate to sell this place, but if I can get top dollar right away, I can uh, get on with my life. Well, so. that's a good thing. Who has that kind of cash around here? I don't need to see the place. Blake, just give me the contracts and tell me where to sign. What is this? A joke? No, not at all. I've got every penny lined up, Danny. You cannot buy my house. Why not? Hmm? Why not? You need the cash. I've got the cash. I need a bigger place in this town. You've got it. It's a perfect fit, Danny. All right? Tony. Should I... Yes. Start the paperwork? No. Yes, Blake. Blake, go ahead. don't you dare. I am not selling my house to you. Danny, listen to me. It's not like I'm going to buy it out from under you and put you on the street. Oh, well, that's very comforting. You care about this place. You know that. I know that. All right? You want perfect strangers living in here? Is that what you want? It doesn't matter to you that me buying this place keeps the house and the family? <laughs> family. <laughs> Look, Danny. I know that Michelle moved out. All right? Talk to her? Yes, I did. I saw her this morning at the lighthouse. We are partners. Right. Here's the way I see it. Okay, well, Michelle's living there. You can live here as long as you want. It's your place, too. Really? What, as a renter? Don't insult me, Danny. I'm not going to change anything in this place. This is it. I'll leave everything the way it is, all right? And when you get a paying gig and you're back on your feet and Michelle's ready to move in with you again, I'll sell you, I'll sell you the house back in market value. Everybody's happy. It's a good deal, right? Hello? Danny. Hey. Want to hear something strange? 
Go ahead. It couldn't be any stranger than what I've already heard today. Can't seem to get you and Ravi off my mind. Yep, me and Michelle with no memory. So how you guys doing? We made it through the night. Yeah, I know this is going to be a tough day for you, you know, me taking off and you putting the house on the market. Actually, I found a buyer. We're uh, closing the deal right now. Really? Wow. Well, well, you should come over. We'll celebrate. What? Come, um, come to the lighthouse. Um, I want to show you the place anyway. Oh, and, and um, bring some of Robbie's toys. That way he'll have something to play with next time he comes over. Okay. Building blocks and champagne. Anything else? Nope, just you. See you soon. Yeah, okay. So we have a deal? Looks that way. We are family, Danny. That's all that matters. I'll go tell Blake. What you consider entitlement may be another word for selfishness. Worked for you, didn't it? Hmm. Now, you know very well, in your day, Spaulding's made their own rules and everybody else fell in line or they got out of the game. Yeah, that was the golden age. Yes, well, we're about to head into another one. Hmm. And this time it'll be my children who reap the rewards. Ah, the inheritors of the empire. That's right. Either. And I could do a lot worse for them. Hmm. You know what, it doesn't matter, Joey, if you saw her or not, because right now she's in a jail cell in D.C. Hmm. It matters to me. This is a woman who walked into my house several times as if it were hers. Oh, that is so creepy. What did she say? Uh, she said she was a realtor, Elaine st 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 something. What does she look like? Um, I don't remember. She had kind of like you, blonde hair, except she had a really tight ponytail. Oh, that's freaky, too. She totally fooled me. I mean, it's because she knew the place so well. She knew the place so well. <sighs> So maybe she took something else besides now, the cloak. hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that she might have been in my room going through my stuff? Who knows? Um, Kim, have you had breakfast yet? No. No. And I'm so not hungry after hearing about all of this. Ms. Winslow, is it okay if I bag my chores for today and spent the rest of the day with him and kind of took care of her? That would be great, Joey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cool. Hey, um, do you want to go into town or something, maybe to the park, someplace where I can just keep my eyes on you? Yeah. Just let me freshen up. Okay, I'll be outside. What are you doing? You know, you're wasting your time. My time, my house. Okay. Oh, come on. What? What is it? Why don't you tell me? You're the expert. But from right here, that looks like a bullet hole. Philip, you could learn a thing or two from your daughter. Oh? Yeah. When you were her age, you were much like she is. I mean, you were full of yourself, impulsive, a little bit reckless at times. Those were the days. Yeah, you had <laughs> friends like she does, Katie in New York. I don't have time for friends. I have shareholders. Tell me something. How long has it been since you and Rick had a beer together? Huh? Caught up, huh? Too busy to go and have beer. So, building an empire, I guess, and, uh, for your company and family doesn't leave you much time for anything else, does it? I think I finally got my priorities straight. Look, don't get me wrong. I have never been more proud of you than I am right now for what you're doing to this great city and for the company and for your family. Yeah, but? I just hope you're not doing this because you're trying to make up for something that's missing in your life. I don't see how that's possible because there's nothing missing. 
I never thought I'd hear you say that. Well, you know, I give you a lot of the credit for that. Think about all those years that I've fought you, and I judged you, and I discounted the things that you believed in and what you stood for. Well, you were right, and I was wrong. Other people's rules and what they think doesn't matter. They're always going to hate us anyway. Now, the only people that I care about, the only people that I feel like I have to please, are all living under this roof. Spaldings. Phil, it's Olivia. Look, you have to meet me at Jay Farley's bar right away. I know, but Philip has got something huge up his sleeve, okay? All right, I will call Harley, but remember this. You and I are running the show. Got it? All that's left is to... Set the closing date. Doing as soon as possible, Blake. I want uh, this transition to go as smooth as can be. Oh, transition. More like a takeover. <laughs> you know, Blake, I know I'm not your favorite person on Earth, but I suggest you keep your comments and your commissions to yourself, all right? Work for me. I just find it very interesting that this is so much more than buying a house for you, Tony. I'm sure you do. What does that mean? You've taken Danny's place as Top Santos. And now you've partnered with, with Michelle, making her a key part of your life. And now you're buying up Danny's pride and joy, the, the house he bought for Michelle. Is that Blake, a coincidence? Hey, I don't think so. I did it for Danny's sake, to keep this house and the family until they get back together. All right? If you say so. Go. Set the closing date. OK. Good. You know. That's what's so great about cash. Everything's happened so fast. And uh, it makes it so convenient, don't you think? Yeah, and what does that mean, hmm? I'm just thinking if Danny and Michelle don't get back together again, got a ready-made house, perfect to woo some lucky girl, whoever she may be. Uh, just a little surprised, that's all. I was uh, <laughs> expecting to see uh, the beginnings of a club, not a, not a home. But, uh, you've obviously been spending a lot of time here. It's, uh, you must like it. Yep, yeah. I do. Oh, good, you brought Robbie's toys. I can't wait for him to come over and play here. Why don't you tell me? Tell you what? You know, that the lighthouse meant so much to you. Because, I mean, the, this was a special place for both of us, and uh, I could have been a part of... But that was the point, right? To find a place of your own, to make it your own by yourself. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well. I needed it to be my yeah. own thing. You know? All right. Well, yeah, you're on your way. So I can understand why you'd like it here. So um, when do you have to move out of the house? Actually, I can stay as long as I want. But I was thinking that it would probably be best if uh, I find a new place for me and Robbie as soon as possible. Somewhere that feels, you know, right for us. Oh, well, it's just funny that now that we're apart, we finally have something in common. It's definitely a bullet hole. What happened, Jeffrey? Too late. Don't worry, I'm going to have it fixed. A bullet was fired in my house, and you're telling me not to worry? Who had the gun? Did she have it? Did you? Did you both have guns? What happened here? It wasn't here? the Wild West shootout or anything like that. Take it easy, okay? It was, it's a bit of a struggle, that's all. You could have been killed. Oh, well, I mean, not really. I mean, you know, the odds were against it. Thank God you're all right. 
Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm fine except for, the, except for the stiff neck, you know. If anything would have happened to you, I would have never forgiven myself. Now that we're living in separate addresses, if I were to ask you to dinner tonight, would that be a bad thing? Would that be a good thing? No, good. Yeah, good thing, definitely. Oh, me grab. Mm. Me what? Me who? You know, that Thai noodly, spicy, fried thing. Oh, totally could get into that right now. Oh, really? It's not even lunchtime yet. Yeah, well, I'll tell it to my stomach. Have I always okay. been into Thai food? You know what? I will tell you at dinner. Deal? All right. I will see you later. You've taken Danny's place as Top Santos. And now you've partnered with, with Michelle, making her a key part of your life. And now you're buying up Danny's pride and joy, the, the house he bought for Michelle. So O'Neill said that uh, he watched the place last night, even after they caught her? Uh, I think so, yeah. Tammy, it means that there still could be trouble. Joey, you know, it's really sweet of you to worry. But I I'm really feeling much better about all this already. I mean it. So if you'd rather go back to work instead of hanging out with me, I'd, I'd understand. Oh, well, there's nothing I'd rather do than be with you. Um, I left something outside. I will be right back, okay? Lizzie. Hey, I was just thinking about you. Thanks for calling. Listen, there's been a change in plans. Yeah, uh, same here. Well, what's wrong? Yeah, um, I can't make it to New York. What? Why? Um, something came up, just some stuff I have to do around here. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. I'll just, I'll hang out with the other kids here. It'll be fun. Great. Um, so have fun. Hey, Joey. Uh, I gotta go. Hi. Yeah, you have fun too, Joey. Kenny! <laughs> you must be very relieved. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, is your mother inside? Uh, yeah, with Jeffrey. Great. Great. Excuse me. Good morning. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, Mr. O'Neill, I realize I haven't been the most gracious of men lately, but uh, a fantastic piece of police work. Cassie told me what happened. Well, thank you, Edmund. I'm just, you know, doing my job. And now that you have, I guess you're going back to Washington, D.C. Nothing to hold you here, right? Not a blessed thing. Hey! 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 I thought I heard your voice. So can you believe they got her? I mean, they got her. It's amazing. I was just congratulating Mr. O'Neill on job well done. Yeah, things could have turned out so differently. Yeah, but they didn't, so be happy and hug away. <laughs> My house, exactly. All right, well, you know, come inside, okay? Great. I guess this is it. And... Yeah, I um, just got a few loose ends to tie up around here, and then I'll be heading to D.C. to make sure that our imposter doesn't bother you anymore. Have a safe trip, Mr. O'Neill. Thank you. Springfield Inn, 
Springfield Inn. Let's see. Springfield Inn. Thank you very much. Hi. Good afternoon. Yes, I'd like to make a, a reservation for my boss. O'Neill? Mr. Jeffrey O'Neill? Yeah. Yeah, a single room would be fine as long as it's a king size bed for two. I think that's what uh, Mr. O'Neill prefers. Yeah. Okay. O'Neill. Thank you very much.